Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the female reproductive system. The last one I talked about the the male. So as in the functions of the female reproductive system, it uh, produces the female gametes or oocytes, a process called oogenesis. It provides the environment for fertilization to form the zygote. Uh, it holds the embryo during its complete development through the fetal stage until birth. The ovaries produce steroidal sex hormones that control organs of the reproductive system and influence other other glands. So those were the functions of um, the female reproductive system and we have the external genitalia and the internal genitalia. The external genitalia consists of the the mons pubis, the labia majora, the labia minora, the clitoris, the urethral opening, the hymen. The hymen um it uh, tears off during sexual intercourse. Uh, let me show you the clip. Yeah. The hymen is a thin membrane which tears during sexual intercourse. It has one or more openings to allow escape of menstrual menstrual blood. Then the internal genitalia consists of the of a vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tube, ovaries. And so as in this is the part where we have um, the internal and the external. The vagina connects the cervix to the external genitals. Uh, it is located between the bladder and rectum. Uh, it functions as the passageway for the menstrual flow for, for uterine secretion to pass down through the intratus uh, as the birth canal during labor. And it um, receives the penis during sexual intercourse. Um, opening may be covered by a thin sheath called the hymen. So, like hymen, are partially closes the vagina until it is it is ruptured. And then there is the perineum, the muscle and tissue located between the vaginal opening and the anal, the vaginal opening and the and the anal canal. And the function of the perineum is supports and surrounds the lower parts of the urinary system the perineum contains an abundance of nerve ending that makes it uh, sensitive then there's the cervix the cervix um connects the uterus to the vagina the cervical opening to the vagina is small. This acts as a safety precaution against foreign bodies entering the uterus during childbirth. The cervix dilates to accommodate the passage of the fetus. This dilation is a sign that labor has begun. And then there is the uterus, um, a pear-shaped organ, hollow organ, located or situated in the true pelvis between the urinary bladder and rectum. The powerful muscles of the u of the uterus expand to accommodate a growing fetus and push it through the birth canal. Layers of the utera of the uterine hole. There is outer layer which is known as the serosa or perimetrium. Then there is the middle layer which is known as the myometrium. Then the inner layer it is known as the endometrium functions of the uterus um the shorter the fetus during pre pregnancy it prepares for for this possibility each month and following pregnancy it is expelled to the uterine content it receives a fertilized egg it retains the fertilized egg and nourishes the fertilized egg that's about the uterus and then there's the uh, the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube it serves as the pathway for the ovule to to the uterus, attaches to the uterus, does not physically attach to the ovary. Yeah. Uh, supported by the broad ligament, 
are the are the sites of fertilization by the male sperm, often referred to as the oviduct or uterine tubes. And the, fertili the fertilized egg takes approximately 6 to 10 days to travel through the fallopian tube to the implant to the sorry to the implant in the uterine lining. Then the functions of the fallopian tube number one receive the ovulated oocyte fimbri finger like projection at the distal end that receives the oocyte. The cilia inside the uterine tube slowly move to the oocyte towards the uterus takes three to four days. Then the second function receives the spermatozoa as they travel upward upwards. The third function, ovum transport and pick up. Then fourth, provide a site for fertilization, feed, embryo transport and uh, nourishes. That's about the fallopian tube. Then the ovary then the ovaries um comparable to the testes in the male and similar to almost in size and shape. Uh, locations um they are located on either side of the uterus below and behind the fimbrated ends of the ovaries. Their function um the ovaries produce ova or ovulation and the hormones estrogen and progesterone. They they develop and expel an ovum each month. A woman is born with approximately four hundred thousand immature eggs called follicles. During life lifetime, a woman releases about four hundred to five hundred fully matured eggs for fertilization. Yeah, that's about the ovum. Also. The ovaries, uh, they are composed of ovarian fo follicles, a sac like structures. The follicles in the ovaries produce the female sex hormones, progesterone and estrogen. These hormones prepare the uterus for implantation of the fertilized egg. Ovarian follicle stages, primarily follicle, contain an immature oocyte. Then there is a, a, a graphene or vesicular follicle is grow, growing follicle within a maturing oocyte then ovulation when the egg is mature the follicle ruptures occurs every 28 days then the ruptured follicle is transformed into compass right now um Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Please share and watch the video until yeah, thank you.